The weekly starts now. Contests can be a great way to bring in extra leads by capturing the information from homeowners who might not have given their info otherwise. They might not actually be ready to remodel just quite yet, but they're browsing, they're on your website, and they just can't pass up the chance to win big. Take it from Dreamstyle Remodeling. They are the 2020 Model Remodel team, and they actually host an annual $10,000 giveaway. They don't promote it anywhere else but their website, yet they make over 170 leads off the sweeps a month. And in 2020, they generated over $650,000 in sales off the sweeps alone. 10,000 is, is a sizable sum, uh, you know, for, for sweeps, but it typically pays for one job because, you know, that's kind of around where our average sale is. Uh, and, uh, and we found that, you know, when you, when you pick one winner annually, like we do, uh, you know, you spread that cost throughout the entire year. And so the ROI is still easily justified when, our, when you look at it that way. And we don't promote it in any way. So we don't, I don't put any marketing spend behind it. Uh, it's just a, an additional avenue to capture uh, a conversion once they've landed on our website. Um, and so, you know, it's, Im it's impossible to say whether or not they would have converted via other means or not just a regular form fill or a phone call, but it, it still helps. Um, you know, someone who might have otherwise just bounced from the website. And, uh, you know, we measure that ROI, just, you know, the, the total cost involved, like I mentioned, we don't put any marketing spend behind it. So it's just uh, a, a pure 10,000. And then, you know, we look at the revenue that we generate off of uh, those who convert through the sweeps. Can you maybe share what those numbers are like? Those who, who visit our site, either via, you know, paid or organic or direct or our referral traffic will see it. And uh, we generate about 170 sweeps leads a month off of it. And um, year to date, we have 650,000 in net sales off of the sweeps. So if you're, you know, if you, if you do the math on, on your, you know, a $10,000 cost for 650K in return, you know, you're looking at a one and a half percent cost of marketing, which uh, is, is great. I mean, at the end of the day, we, we kind of look for a 10% cost of marketing. That's our ultimate goal. So, you know, for every $10 I spend, I need to generate 100 in net revenue. Um, and so me being able to deliver um, a lead source, we, we consider it a lead source and we source um, any lead in our CRM that's generated and converted off the sweeps as a DS site sweeps lead so we can track performance individually uh, and and so if I can, if I can take a lead source um, and say, hey, you know, I can generate uh, revenue off of this at 1.5% when we're aiming for 10, then, then there's no question that that's, that's a viable source and that's something we're going to continue to do. So how does the sweepstakes compare to other lead generation strategies that you guys employ? So the thing you have to take into consideration with sweeps leads, uh, you know, you're converting folks that might not have otherwise, they might have just bounced straight from your site. And so there are a lot of times they're going to be top of the funnel. Um, so it's going to require um, a lot more from your call center to set the lead. It's going to be a harder set. So you're going to see lower set rates than you do with, uh, for example, something like a paid search lead um, or even a regular website, you know, organic lead. Uh, so set rates will be lower, um, but average sale is still the same um, on those leads. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you just have to nurture them a bit so they can still result in long-term sales for your company, but it's going to take some time because like I mentioned, they are top of funnel. So do you have any tips for um, other remodeling companies or home improvement companies that might be interested in making a sweepstakes or uh, yeah, so adding this to their, their strategy? Feel free to take inspiration from ours. You know, it's on our website. It's not a secret. Um, just, just keep in mind those things I mentioned where, you know, these leads, they're going to be, you know, very top of funnel and harder to set, but they will be more cost effective than a normal lead. Uh, so that's kind of the balance and the trade-off that you'll see there. And then as far as, you know, initial investment goes, the only thing you have to put forth is however much the sweeps is going to be. And if you want to do more of a shorter term test, then there's no harm in that if you want to do something like a, like a $2,000 or four or $5,000 sweeps for a quarter, six months, you know, play around with it as, as much as you want and can uh, until you find your sweet spot. Um, especially if 10,000 right off the bat is a bit daunting um, or it's something that, you know, it's kind of, kind of scare you away. So you can start small and then build up. Um, but keep in mind the quality of the lead you are going to generate through something like this uh, and, and, and set your expectations. Mm -hmm.